Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to Saturday Happenings for April the 13th, 2024. Super excited this Saturday because tomorrow we're leaving on our kind of our epic road journey, just a, another epic road journey. We tend to take really long drives, but uh, so we're ready to go and I just want to do this Saturday Happenings and you know I like to talk about the videos I did the previous week and what's coming up the next week and this is fun because Last week, I did that amazing chamber vacuum review from WeVac, mind-blowing. If you're looking for a chamber vacuum, go check out that video because it was amazing. I am so happy to have that thing because it is incredible. So there's that. And then I did the little headbands, the little baby headbands um, <clears throat> that are so darn cute. Like, they are adorable. And I did those and they go with the cute little outfits that I did last last week, not this past week, the week before. So check that out. And actually, on our road trip, I'm taking my sewing machines. <laughs> I'm taking my embroidery machine. I'm taking my serger because we're going to be there a while. And I cannot be without my things. So I'm taking those things. And we have another baby girl coming up. So I'm even taking my little patterns for things that I'm going to make for that. So I'm excited about that. But I'm going to show you what we got going on here. This is, if you see this between Oregon, hang on, I'm trying to make you turn around. If you see this pickup truck with this U-Haul. Now, we don't usually travel needing a trailer, but we're taking a bunch of stuff to our nephew um, that we have here for him. So that's going up to Fairbanks, but it's not coming back. So if you see that on the road, honk and wave. <laughs> Say hi. So, but here, now I've got the thing that isn't the fun thing let's just come around here so <clears throat> this is not fun oh my little security camera is telling me i'm going to be recorded i am so glad our son will be here because i gotta tell you and this is a little bit sad because a lot of people have commented on oh your yard's so pretty so let me show you so what happened was uh i was getting ready for our trip and i was cleaning downstairs we have a utility room and a bathroom and everything and they're on up, like the bathroom is by the family room the utility rooms on the other side of the wall of that and I heard the washer draining and then I heard this bloop bloop and I thought what is that and I went and I looked and there were these big bubbles coming up the toilet so of course I called a plumber and he said that sounds more like a septic issue so let's just take a look here shall we that is a septic issue so what happened was septic's been here 50 years and it had some tree roots but also the drain field which is the entire yard there and all the way around of what I just uh, back there all the way down there and across around the corner of the house is the drain field it is not draining so we currently have two big holes in our yard Whoop, not that way down that way we have two big holes right there and there because the guy came and he's like I was thinking it was plugged or something and he said nope it looks like your drain field's not draining so we have these two holes and they kind of we can still use the washer and stuff which is good uh, because they do drain very slowly down in there you can see like it's dry in there right now but it will drain real slow so luckily we won't be here so i'm going to show you where this is going to go and then there's another one that they dug this hole also and and it's been raining too but those are fine so what they're gonna do i was hoping they have to lay a whole new drain field which is gonna kind of be not fun but i was hoping that they would be able to replace it down here like there's two lines that go there and then there's two lines that's just this is the this is what we laid across here so when it rains it goes down the front over there of our property and it doesn't uh, so you can see how it drains out there down the hill which is fine that's just rainwater but anyway I was hoping it could come around here where the old drain field is and they said nope probably not because for some reason this is not draining properly so new drain field so I'm going to take you up here and we're going to go this is like the west side of our house. So let's go up here and I'll show you what we had to do to our pretty yard, which, uh, you know what, maybe it was time to change things up. I don't know. So up these little stairs on the side, let me turn you around. I mean, if you're even interested, but he's talking about having to put a holding tank here, like they'll pump it up from the septic in the front to a holding tank right here. 
and then run the lines down our backyard. This is just like the yard yard back there. It's just all woods way, way back there. That's just all woods. But he's thinking we'll have to put some holding tank here. We'll pump up from the front and then have two big lines go along here. Of course, they'll move the picnic table. But, you know, my arbor, it was kind of needing to be replaced anyway. But yesterday, Brian and I took out all the ties around here, so they don't have to worry about that. And if they need that, and then we marked this white line where the uh, water line comes into the house. And that is just going to have to get pushed over. Our son said he can take care of that. We just want to leave it up right now for the bird feeders. But then, if you saw my chicken coop video, I've had to take out this raised bed because you know, he said by foot, it's going to have to come all the way from down there, all the way down here, and hopefully it will be long enough that they'll only have to go this far. Otherwise, we will have to arrange for someone to come and take all of that out, which would be very sad. So sad. But all my little, my little uh, flower beds or my little garden beds that were up, I put them up there. Um, I just put them up there for now, but the little things that were here, like I would plant in. But very sad, but you know what? What are you gonna do? It, it is the way life sometimes hits you. Luckily, our son will be here. Luckily, we can do everything through email and stuff. And, you know, they build houses for people that are in different states. So I'm not worried about physically being here. Like, what am I going to do? I'm not going to come out here with a shovel and help them dig. But yesterday, we signed the stuff for the DEQ and all of the permits. And we'll just have to see how that goes. So, um, so there's my Saturday happenings. But if you see that truck with that U-Haul heading from Oregon to Fairbanks, Honk and wave, say hi. It's going to be a good trip. So, I talked about the videos I did last week. The videos coming up this week are going to be on the road. And I'm excited. We're leaving tomorrow morning. So, today I'm cleaning the house. I got to go see Vi. And then I am going to finish packing up the last things. But having the U Haul is honestly pretty simple because I don't have to worry about anything in the back of the truck and it can lock. A little security. But that's that. Brian's just ready to go. He likes, we like a good road trip, and this is going to be a good road trip. So I'm having fun thoughts about what a good time we're going to have, and I will bring you along with us. So I hope you guys watch. I hope it's fun. And if there's anything we're going to drive by that you've been there and you think we need to stop and see it, send me a message. Let me know in the comments or something, because I want to see all the stuff, either on the way up there or on the way back. Good stuff. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.